Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video we're going to take a look at a brand new Kickstarter called the Raspi Arcade Stick. Let's get started. So it looks like it is an arcade stick with a Raspberry Pi built in, kind of like an all-in-one solution. So reading down a little bit, it says, thanks to the Raspi Arcade Stick, you're able to connect it directly to a TV by HDMI. Also, you're able to use it with a PC, Raspberry Pi, PS3, and PS4. Now on top of the Raspi Arcade Stick, it looks like they also have a standard arcade stick that's compatible with the PC, Raspberry Pi, PS3, and PS4. And looking at the difference between the two, obviously one has a Raspberry Pi built in and one does not. Uh, they both have eight buttons, the 30 millimeter buttons, which are pretty standard on most fight sticks and arcade sticks today as well as two buttons of 24 millimeters, which will probably be the start and select buttons. On top of this, the HDMI and power supply cables are included with the Raspi stick. Looking at the timelines here, it looks like it is coming out in August of this year, August, September, roughly for the regular and pro version. So one will just have regular, probably, generic parts and the other one is built with Sanwa parts so the Sanwa JLF as well as Sanwa probably OBSF buttons. Now in terms of software this will run anything a standard Raspberry Pi will run however there is a slight difference here and that's with how the stick is set up. So if we scroll down to the ports you can see there is a port for micro SD and input USB, which would be, for example, if you're plugging in a second controller or a joystick or something, there's an output USB. So this would be if you're plugging in this stick into a computer or a PS3 or something, you'd just have a double-ended USB, one side into this system, one side into the PS3 or 4 or PC. And it looks like there's three color schemes available, blue and black, gold, reminiscent of the Famicom, as well as the Spectro edition. It says they will be starting mass production. So if this Kickstarter is successful, they will be mass producing the stick. So it looks like if you miss the Kickstarter and it's successful, you could always pick one up later. What it looks like is they have different pricing tiers. Once they fill up at the lower price, you will then have to buy in at a higher price. Once that fills up, you have to go to the next tier and so forth. So it looks like the highest tier just for the standard generic part stick that doesn't have a Raspberry Pi is 90 six dollars and then on the regular fight stick with the Sanwa parts you're looking at a top price of 133 and this is in Canadian so if you're in US dollars it'll be even cheaper than that in terms of the Raspi stick uh, you can buy in at 186 dollars and it looks like it will go probably as high as 208 dollars for the Raspberry Pi stick with generic parts the pro option is going to set you back. Well, this tier is already gone. This one's gone as well. A lot of these are already gone. So the pro version of the Raspberry Pi stick is going to set you back 253 Canadian dollars, which is roughly 189, 190 US dollars. Now, in terms of whether or not this is worth it, there are a few things I do want to go over. Uh, first and foremost, this has a very small form factor. So you can see roughly how small this is. The start and select buttons are very close to the joystick and these four buttons, well I guess these eight buttons here, this group of buttons is also very close to either edge. So this is a fairly narrow and fairly small fight stick. And it reminds me a lot of the Picade console. So the Picade console is essentially just the control deck off the Picade. I did a video of that if you check through my videos and I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, you can see the full Picade. So this one's coming in at $174.95 in Canadian dollars. It'll be even cheaper in USD. Um, this does not include the Raspberry Pi. So it's $174.95 for generic parts and no Raspberry Pi. And if we take a look at the tier list here, and I'll look at the most expensive tier for the standard Raspi stick with generic parts for full comparison, this will get you the Raspberry Pi and control stick for $208. So roughly right around the same price as this Picade console. So they're very, very similar in that regard. I would say the main difference between the two is that this Picade console 
has six button layout instead of the eight button layout and uses the start and select buttons on the bottom which frees up a little bit more space for your hand. And now the price difference between the Raspi stick, so that's the Raspberry Pi built in with generic parts and the Raspi stick Pro, which is the same stick with fully Sanwa parts is roughly I think it's like 40 some odd dollars. And looking at the price just in general for the Sanwa stuff, so I've got eight 30 millimeter buttons, two 24 millimeter buttons. Again, don't really worry about the color. They're pretty much all the same. And a JLF joystick brings up at a grand total of 4630 plus shipping. However, you could also just go the route of purchasing an arcade stick for, for example, this one. This is a great arcade stick for $150 plus the Raspberry Pi. And the whole setup will run you less probably than the $253 for the Raspi Arcade Stick Pro. So the market for this Raspi Arcade Stick in my mind is probably a very similar market for the people interested in the Capcom Home Arcade system. Both of those have a very, very similar concept where it's a fight, fight stick or arcade stick that you plug an HDMI cable in, plug power into. Now, obviously the Raspi Arcade stick will require a little bit of setup to set up RetroPie and get yourself going. So if someone is considering form factor, they want a neat little tight compact system then the Raspi Arcade Stick might be up their alley. So looking at this, there's still quite a ways to go in order to meet the goal, and this is an all or nothing. So if this does not meet the 14,987 Canadian dollar goal, it won't be funded. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, and let me know what you think of the Raspi Arcade Stick in the comments below. Thank you everyone. Take care.